So this is my therapy animal. Her name is Abby. She's a female tabby cat that I rescued from a shelter. And the reason why Abby's a great therapy animal is because she's very docile and she's very, very uh, friendly with strangers, especially humans. She loves humans. So she's trained and um, I did a certification course for about two years in order to learn how to utilize Abby in the therapy process with my clients. So a little bit about me is I've been practicing for over 10 years as a family therapist. I have experience working with individuals, families, um, children from the age of zero to elementary school age, um, teenagers, young adults, adults, couples, and elderly. And I've worked with a myriad of issues but uh, my specialty is working with trauma and attachment issues. So Abby's such a wonderful asset to the therapy because she comes in the room and uh, first and foremost, she helps to reduce the anxiety of going to therapy. So as many of you may know, going to therapy isn't always an easy thing to do. Seeking out help, meeting someone new that you're going to be sharing very private information with is a difficult step to take. Having an animal in the room can really diffuse some of that anxiety. And the first session is really dedicated to helping the client relax, enjoy meeting the animal and myself, and getting to build a relationship with us. So um, for example, with children, this is really beneficial because um, most children really love animals and so they get to interact with, with Abby. In addition, I also allow for my clients to bring in their own pets. However, what we do is a little bit of training before we incorporate the client's pet into the, um, into the treatment process. I apologize, I'm a little bit out of breath. I am nine months pregnant, which you might not be able to see. But there you go, you can see there. Anyways, so um, then the animal in the therapy process can help facilitate interventions with the client. So you may have heard of animal assisted therapy, which is actually different than animal assisted psychotherapy. Animal assisted therapy is where the animal is the sole focus for the intervention with the client or the patient. Um, and for example, dogs in hospitals or um, dogs in elementary schools helping uh, students learn how to read, that is animal assisted therapy. In psychotherapy, the animal is not the sole focus, it's actually the client. But the animal kind of becomes part of the story and is used as a way for the client to enact um, you know, a story or their, their history, relationships. Um, and you know, for example, with a child, I might say, you know, what is, what do you think that the dog is feeling? And the child might say, you know, it looks like the dog is afraid. And then I could say, you know, have you ever felt like the dog is feeling? So the animal becomes incorporated into the therapy process that way. Um, for adults, there's all kinds of interventions. One of my favorite is when um, working with adults that have lived through trauma in uh, teaching them mindfulness techniques such as petting the animal or listening to their heartbeat um, as a technique to help the client be in the present moment and be able to focus on that one specific sound or uh, sense that they're using through the animal. So there's a whole lot of techniques and interventions which um, I would love to share more with you about in future videos and um, I just want to convey that animal assisted psychotherapy is an extremely powerful method of therapy and um, I have found that it's highly effective with uh, clients of all different ages, um, genders, and presenting issues. So please come back to my channel and please subscribe to learn more about this wonderful new and innovative field and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.